Emperor protects. Hey uh, folks, how y'all doing? This is Connell. We're coming to you with another episode of Warhammer 40k Regicide. By the time this video comes out, update 2.1, I think it is, after it has been into the, added into the game, which makes our lives a heck of a lot easier unlocking all the really, really cool stuff like other Space Marine chapters. There's been some a lot of other, let's say, aesthetic changes, there's some other kind of like modifications of the, the abilities, but at the same time, not a whole lot that really bothers us. But when we last saw each other, we had just taken down, for the second stupid time, the war boss Gobclaw. And somehow, Captain Dracomedes has thrown off the vile, vile scourge that is the Black Rage, and is now resting once more upon our ship up above the planet's surface. What's this mean for us? Well, it means that Baldassar, our loyal librarian, otherwise known as the only guy in this game to be set in blue, as opposed to everybody else who just has that awful, awful bright color of red, is now in command of the forces on the ground. And as you see here, there is something very, very dangerous. In this particular case, we need to attack this little enemy objective zone yonder, and don't lose all of our Terminators. That might be something of a tall order, considering we are outnumbered quite hef uh, heavily. But you know what? I don't really ever say die until I actually do die. So for the time being, maybe we'll just hop right in and see what happens in this first mission of the final act of the campaign. Let's get to it. I have assumed command. Captain Draco has been returned to our strike cruiser, the Deus Vitae. There, he has been interred within a sarcophagus in an attempt to heal him and cleanse the fury from his blood. I am sensing unusual warp disturbances across the planet. Are the orcs attempting another distraction? have dispatched Terminators to investigate one such site in the forests. There are times when I wonder if the Space Marines are just as aware of the fact that this is a game and they're breaking the fourth wall, or what? But who is he talking to? Is he talking to himself? If so, then we have quite a problem. All right, so like I said before, get here, don't lose a Terminator is a secondary objective, and all of them being eliminated is a bad thing. First things first. Make them no regret. Each of us Big problem. The might of an army. We have our new spiffy pawns, we have our new spiffy Terminators, and I'm gonna just take a nice little quick look peek with these bad boys. Just how awesome does that look? Awesome city. Right, right, all right, cool. Let's get ourselves reoriented. Open fire! Toss some fire into that bad boy right over there. Oh, and while I'm taking a look, it looks like we have a new ability, Angel of Death, which doubles everything that the opponent can do until one of our guys is eliminated. What's this mean? This means that things are going to cost an additional action point. It means that other things might cost, um, well, it's, it'll be good. That's the important part. We are the shootiest! I sense a death gun volley. Charging. No. There we go. Hey! He actually missed. I thought it was always whenever there was a stupid the little Emperor percentage chance. By. It'd be a hit. Moving Not that I'm position. complaining, obviously. That'd be pretty darn stupid. I do think, though. I'm gonna try to roast this bad boy. Alright, so one hit. Do you notice the gemstones on that guy's shoulder? Pretty boss. Face. Oh, and if you notice that our our chances to hit are a little bit higher than normal, that is because the Space Marines got a buff. Not a huge one, but a buff on to everybody for the weapon skill. You 
wish I had one of them targeting squigs. It's got ammo run. Ooh. How do you get over here? Alright, the good news is. Space Marine Terminators, ready to move. Termination imminent. Let's do Onward this. To glory. So now, when I attack and kill you, you that one. And you know what? Let's actually do Angel of Death. So now he's going to cost everything for him is going to cost double, which means he's only going to be able to attack us once. Which means next turn we get to see ourselves a kill cam. That was unfortunately going to happen, but we can survive that. We are the first company. Tremble, for I, the enemy, knows here. Yeah, bro, you are not standing up to that kind of firepower. Whoa, I have seen something real quick. That looked actually really awesome. One second. Dude, you just have to love the, the level of detail. I mean, how, that's ridiculous. Imperator so of Alright. I can't pretend I know what that means. In fact, I'm my command of Latin is uh, as pretty much as dead as that language is. So if anyone wants to tell me what it means, go for it. I'm more than happy to find out. <laughs> I think they're adding in new vocal cues. Dang it. That was a waste. Oh well. Okay, well, it's not like we can do a whole lot at this particular moment. Except to apparently shoot him. Target. Or miss, but attempt to shoot him, which is a very, very important thing as well. In the meantime, we can go to ground, and no, just pass for the time being. Let's go, Storm Boys! Ah, darn it. Alright, looks like this mission is going to be a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. I thought perhaps, hey, cool, we can skip a bunch of this nonsense, but that is not going to be the case. Always but but never, never out fault. Alright. Okay, as so we do some damage there, we're going to toss a shield on him. He's going to be great. Terminators hold the line. Because I sincerely doubt the Storm Boy is going to... Okay. Wow, maybe he will jump. That was surprising. I think now might be the time to use the Shrouding. Make that bad boy go invisible. Cool. We shall not fail. We bring death. Bring a lot more than that, but we definitely bring death. I'm gonna hit you. I really can't get over how ridiculously awesome that armor looks. Alright. I'm gonna increase your armor. We're going to make you invisible. And we're gonna make you do that. Actually, and I think you can shoot at him too. So we're going to. Bullseye there, guys. Well done, well done. And skip this last one? Yeah, skip this last one. Let's jump over him! So this is actually Make going a lot no easier regret, than I thought. Brothers. For glory! Attack pattern Delta 6 engaged. Yeah, it's pretty hard to fight somebody you can't see. Pretty wicked. I'll take it. 
Wait, and when does the shrouding fall off? Is that as soon as they use an ability to? I thought I was just wondering maybe they when they didn't attack. But just in case, I'm not gonna get rid of it just yet. Stick bomb and coming. You're a jerk. Awesome. Feel free to miss as often as you want to. Okay, so moving here is, let's say, a calculated risk. Firing on target. Bracka, bracka, bracka. All right, so if you hit him, which at a 95% chance you really, really should hit him, but I, I get you weren't feeling too hot. Terminators hold the line. And I don't know why I can't use the ability. Oh well. Oh well. So it looks like you're going to take a couple of hits. Shouldn't be too bad though. Okay, so his weapon skill just went up. I guess we're going to take a slightly more circuitous route, or cir circuitous? Circuitous. I never say that word correctly. Firing on target. And actually, I guess I can't use the Angel of Death because a friendly unit hasn't died yet. Could this be a bloodless victory? I mean, I don't want to speak too, too quickly. We shall not fail. Target acknowledged. Tremble, or I am your death. All right, I realize at this point we're starting to waste Move initiative cover. points. Seeking better ground. Uh, yeah, I won't wake you. Go to ground. Brothers. We're gonna keep them on the run. I probably could have picked a better time to use Angel of Death. Eh, oh well. Hold still. You need more than that to stop me. Make them no regret. Each of us wields the might of an army. So most of my abilities are back up too. I can heal somebody. How fantastic. Face judgment. Okay, I was like, bro, I have no idea how you would miss that kind of shot. Open fire! <laughs> uh, the enemy would be the other guy. But I like where your head's at. Just in Brand case, he deployed. might lose himself. Oh well. The boss knows what he's doing. Ah oh, shoot, actually I can't kill that guy because if I kill him, then the pawn can't move. Lay low for a bit. I hope I threw the right big at time. I just realized that. That's devilishly clever. None shall survive. Advance! Alright, don't take the knight. I just realized his play the entire time. Actually, and everyone's healthy too, so I'll just kind of chill, I think. Let's jump over him! Alright, I'm just I'm going for the. No, don't do it, buddy. Terminator reporting. If I go here. We bring death. And just skip. Last one to fight is a rotty squig. So they see us. 
Okay. We shall not fail. Always outnumbered, but never outfought. I do not think I'm going to do much on this turn. In fact, my guess is I'm probably going to end up <laughs> just skipping through this video because this is just taking way longer than it should. This thing's just as dangerous as close! <laughs> Termination imminent. Moving out! One would think you don't really want to turn your back to the enemy, but hey, what do I know? You shall fall! I hope that hurt. Because with luck, he'll finally kill somebody. We're gonna keep him on the run. Dang it. Alright, folks. So, it looks like we get our None victory. So Although, I really regret not being able to kill that bad boy. We're gonna Each move in and just end it up. The might of an Ooh, a little bit of a 360 picture of us winning a mission. Ah. Cool. So, we reached the enemy's objective zone. We didn't lose a Terminator. And actually, hey, we look pretty cool, actually. I'm liking how the Assault Marines are finally starting to look like the whole kind of Corvus attack pattern helmets and all that. These guys are starting to look really like Space Marines and looking pretty darn cool, if I may say so myself. So this video took a lot longer than I expected. I think for the time being, I'm just going to cut it here. And when next time we come back... We will be dealing with ourselves. Hmm. Apparently a fair amount of other stuff here. What's that? It's a queen, a couple of bishops, a knight, and six pawns. Again, so that, does the other side have a queen? Is that a rook? Or is that a... I don't even know what the other side is there. Okay, cool. It's a rook. Awesome. Alrighty. So, when we come back, we have one of those dumb let's kill everybody missions. But for the time being, this is Connell signing off, so uh, take it easy, everybody.